Hello, hello. Congratulations for successfully installing R. So we move on to the second part where we are going to install the R packages. So to install the R packages in Conda, you need to first activate the environment. That's what we are going to do. But advanced users can still do it without activating. But let's take this um, um, as a beginner. So we activate the environment and in case you have forgotten the environment name, you can just issue this command here conda and list this will list the environment on your system so we have our environment here rm and that is what we are going to activate so we say conda activate rm and then we activate it after activation the name of the environment will also be on your prompts so you take note of that now let's um, continue the solution now with r packages they can be found in the cram repository or they can be found in the bioconductor repository these are the two main repositories of course we also have some on GitHub, but i will look at all those available um, approaches so if let's say you have your r package in the cram repository and you want to install a um, using conda then this is how you do it let's take for example dplyr uh, we are going to install it in Conda and it's in CRAN. So we say Conda install R DPLYR. This is the rule. Because we are using Conda, we need to let Conda know where it can be found. And so if it's in the CRAN package, if it's in the CRAN repository, we add R to it. You know, the traditional way of installing R in the R environment, the R terminal itself, we don't need to bring the R. But this time, because we are doing it outside uh, the R environment itself, which we've now activated, that is why we use this one there. So that's how we do it if you are installing um, CRAN packages using Conda. So we now install using this. So let's install it and let's see what happens. Okay, so we type Y for yes and then we enter. So one good thing is that with Conda, it automatically installs all dependencies for you as well so that you don't have to uh, worry to install all those ones individually. So everything is streamlined and it's automatic and more convenient for you. So let's see how it goes okay so the package has been installed so that's dplyr and you install from the cran let's clear the screen uh, i'm using the clear because i'm using linux but windows also has a way of clearing the screen so you, you use that if you're using windows yeah so that's how we do the installation of packages when it's in the cran environment now let's look at bioconductor if let's say it's in the bioconductor repo this is how we do it. And notice during the installation of R, I added Bioconductor BioC installer. And that is the reason why I did it because we use those ones also for installation. And that is what we are going to do next. So let's look at how we can install a Bioconductor package using Conda. And it's very simple. So we see Conda install. And this time, instead of R dash, we use Bioconductor. So we see Conda install bioconductor dash. Let's say, for example, you want to install Borgon. Okay, this one. So you do it this way and then you install it. So you type Y to confirm and then you hit enter. But please know that sometimes. Some of these installations um, take some time, so you should be patient for it. Okay, so that package has also been installed. That's the Borgon package we installed um, from the Bioconductor repository. So that is also done. So let's clear the screen again. Yeah, so these two approaches um, are used in installing our packages uh, via Conda. But what about if, let's say, the package is in GitHub and you want to install, such as our Skittle Brewer? 
that's also another thing we are going to look at where we try to install packages from github so for that one you need to get the dev tools okay so if you are going to install packages from github you can use dev tools and that means that you have to install dev tools first so again because it's in the cran repository you can say conda install r dev tools and then we install that one as well And we type Y. And then we wait for the packages to be downloaded and installed. So DevTools has been installed. So you can now use that to install packages that are on GitHub, like the R Schedule Brewer. So we are going to try by installing the R Schedule Brewer. So to do that, let's clear the screen first. To do that we have to go to the r terminal itself because we are fully activated our environments all that we need to do is just type r so we are in the r console now so in order to install github packages like for example the r console browser then we need to use dev tools so we have to load dev tools first so we see library dev tools so we load it okay now let's clear the screen to make it nicer in our console if you want to clear a screen we use control and then the l l for load the l key and then you have it cleared for you so we are going to use dev tools to install our Castle browser the instruction is also on the github page and i'll leave the link for you to also watch so here's the instructions for installing our Castle brewer so i'm going to paste it here this is it and then install it so the report will be downloaded from GitHub and then installation will be done for you. So this is what this is how we do it with um, using DevTools to install GitHub packages. So these are the approaches um, that you can use when using Conda to install our packages. Okay. There are other ways to install our packages, but those ones I'm going to skip them for later to write. But there are other ways where you can use the installed packages as well. And also the bioconductor that's bio c lights and to also install in the r console okay so these are things you can also look but i prefer to use the conda because it makes it simple and easy and it automatically installs all dependencies for you to make your your, your stuff your life very easy so that's how that's why i prefer to use conda for a lot of these activities so we are from the R console. We found the R console. Let's load the other packages. Library. We had ball gone. So we can load it here because we had installed it. And it will be loaded for us because we installed it. So let's wait. Yeah, so ball gone has been loaded. And we have it also here. Yeah, it's also successful. Let's clear the screen. And there was one more. The BP LYR also here. Yeah. So that's also done. So all the installations we did have been successful and it's very easy. And you can use that for your analysis and whatever you want to do in the R console. So there's what um, I have for you for today. And I believe you will be able to practice and then get your packages installed and use them easily in R. So and before we go let me also say you can quit R using the kill yeah to quit R use this one and then you can choose to save or not I'll use N for new 
and then after that i'll exit my environment here and say conda deactivate and then i will deactivate the environment and now we are back to the terminal okay so that is it so that's all for this tutorial and i hope to see you in the next session so let me also get your your views in the comment section and let's continue the discussion see you later